So we'll start, feet hip width, knees relaxed, hips in line, shoulders back and down. Imagine that string from the crown up towards the ceiling, chin parallel to the ground. Placing one hand on the chest, one just below the ribs. Breathing in and out through the nose, aiming the in-breath to the lower hand. Now bring the arms down, interlace the fingers, palms on top of the head, we'll inhale, lengthen, exhale over to the left. Inhale back, exhale, arms down. So inhale, lengthen, exhale to the right. Inhale back, exhale down. Again, inhale, exhale over, inhale back, exhale down. Inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale. So inhale, now exhale, twist. Inhale back, exhale down. Inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale back, exhale down. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Bring the arms down. Now very gently rolling the shoulders back. And no tension at all. And then forwards. Okay, coming into a wide forward bend. So have the legs out straight, toes facing forwards, edges of the feet parallel, hands on the hips. Now inhale, exhale, come forwards. Aiming to have the body parallel to the ground or wherever you get to. And coming back up. We'll inhale. Exhale forwards. Try and keep the back flat if you can. Remember, nothing should hurt. So if it does, then stop doing it. So coming back up. Inhale. Exhale forwards. Head and neck relax. And coming on up. So if you want to, we'll add in a lower back bend. So placing the palms of the hands into the lower back, squeezing the elbows together, we'll inhale, exhale, look up. Inhale, exhale, forwards. And coming back. So again, inhale, exhale, look up. Inhale, exhale, forward. And coming back, one more, inhale, exhale, look up, inhale there, exhale forwards, either stopping halfway or bringing the head down, bring the hands towards the feet, and just hold there for a few breaths. Now if you've never done the twist, then you might want to watch this, but if you have, take your right hand to the left foot and bring the left arm up, and then twist a little bit more and take the hand around the back. And then come down, we swap to the other side. We lengthen through the arms, twist a little more, take the arm around the back. And coming back to center, and we'll do one more each side. So we'll twist and take the arm a little further. Coming back, other side, and twist arm around the back and coming back into that forward bend if you can hold on to the big toes with the index fingers and just hold and breathe and then carefully come on up through the spine so we're going to try a bit of balance I say try because the boat starts to rock <laughs> so standing on the right foot bring that left foot up either to the ankle the calf or into the inner thigh Pushing that left knee out to the side. If you can, bring the arms up. So remember, you can always keep the hands to the chest or arms out shoulder level. And just wherever you're at. <laughs> now, 
come into a quad stretch so taking hold of the left foot with the left hand and if you can take the right hand to the foot as well knee pointing down and maybe hold the balance bring the leg up and ankle rotations or not we we'll actually do those afterwards <laughs> now take hold of the right dog tree pose on the right side we're just working up stage by stage wherever you're at today whatever platform you're on where every day is different so just allow accept do not get frustrated and just hold your tree pose Alright, back to the quad stretch. So taking hold of the right foot with the right hand, and maybe then the left hand as well. So make sure there's no strain in the knee. So try and find a focus point. Bring that leg through and we'll rotate the ankle. And then the other way. And we'll come back to the first one. So just rotate the ankle. And when you're ready, the other way. Alright, so we're continuing with the balance. Bring that right knee up. And we'll try and take it out to the side and back. So out to the side and back. So keeping that belly button squeezed in. Using that focus point. And one more out, and then back, bring the leg down. So we'll try it with the breathing, notice the difference. So inhale, exhale to the side. Inhale back, exhale out. Inhale, exhale, two more. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Alright, so we're going to take this a little bit further. So you can either carry on just with the knee bent or maybe take hold of the foot and just have that knee pointing downwards and then holding on to the big toe, try and straighten the leg out in front, maybe even taking it to the side. And we'll try that on the other side. So we're either just keeping the knee bent as before or take hold of the foot. So it's the half lotus pose. And take hold of the big toe, straighten the leg out in front, and coming out to the side. We'll do one more each side. So we'll just take hold of the big toe, straighten the leg out in front, carefully out to the side, nothing should hurt. Coming down, last one. So holding the foot, leg out in front, and out to the side. Trying to keep the legs straight if we can, and coming down. So, we'll finish with the good posture and the breathing. The shoulders back and down, crown to the ceiling. One hand on the chest, one just below the ribs. Breathing in and out through the nose, aiming the in-breath to the lower hand. And just see if you can feel the heartbeat with the upper hand. Don't panic if you can't. bring the arms down and we are all done thank you for joining me I'm gonna get back to my strawberry daiquiri thank you very much time for cocktails on the beach check out these henna tattoos thank you Paul Gauguin's <laughs> thanks have a beautiful day <laughs>